Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on 805 microcontroller. In this course, you will learn the fundamentals, architecture, working, programming and interfacing of 805 microcontrollers. In today's session, we will discuss introduction to 805 microcontroller and the difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. So, let's start. What is microcontroller? A microcontroller is an integrated circuit that is programmed to do a specific task. What do you mean by specific task? Well, the digital embedded devices such as camera is used for a specific task or application that is to capture the images. Similarly, washing machine is also used for a specific task or application that is to wash the clothes. Now, the question is can we use the camera to wash the clothes? So, the answer is no. So, these are the specialized embedded devices designed to do a specific task. Another definition, a microcontroller is a VLSI IC as shown in the figure that contains a CPU also called processor along with some other peripherals like memory, RAM and ROM, IO ports that is input output ports, timer, counters, communication interfaces, ADC, DAC, etc. Or one can call microcontroller simply as a mini computer. Now let us see how a microcontroller can be called as a mini computer. So here we have internal structure of microcontroller and this is a computer. So we will try to compare the internal structure of microcontroller with the components of CPU of computer. So here we have processor core also called CPU and in computer also we have CPU mounted on the motherboard. Then RAM memory is used in both that is internal structure of microcontroller as well as CPU of computer. Then we have data storage SD MMC used as a memory devices and in computer we have CD, DVD, hard drive which are used as memory devices. Then we have modem and router used for external communication using ethernet and we have ethernet in internal structure of microcontroller and finally we have USB ports in computer and we have USB in internal structure of microcontroller as well. So you can see that that internal structure of microcontroller has a similar components that of components of CPU of computer. That is why we can call microcontroller as a mini computer. Now figure shows the internal structure of microcontroller. Let us assume that this is a 8 pin IC of microcontroller. If you check the inside of microcontroller IC, you will find that more or less these blocks or components are present in it. So we have processor core also called CPU, then system bus, peripheral bus to the system bus we have clock and the memory devices connected and to the peripheral bus we have ADC, DAC, USB uh, in short peripherals are connected. Now let us see the internal structure of microprocessor. In microprocessor the peripherals such as memories, then ADC, DAC, USB, Ethernet, these are not internally present. If you want to use the microprocessor for a particular application, then we have to use or we have to externally connect these peripherals to microprocessor. But in case of microcontroller, these peripherals are inbuilt means internally present. So that is the structural difference between the microprocessor and microcontroller. Now let us see the difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. First application. In microprocessors are used in a general computing devices such as computer, laptops, tablets. We know in a computer we install several softwares such as gaming based applications or softwares then uh, photo editing softwares, then softwares which involves uh, simulations. So these softwares or applications demand intensive processing. In short, we can say that the microprocessors are used in an application or devices which, which requires intensive processing. While microcontrollers 
are used in home appliances, specialized embedded devices such as camera, washing machine, TV, TV remote. Next, the speed of microprocessor is very fast. Now that is quite obvious because the dev devices in which the microprocessors are used requires intensive processing. That is why the speed of microprocessor must be very fast. External parts, in microprocessor the external parts used are many. Now earlier we have seen the internal structure of microprocessor as well as microcontroller. In internal structure of microprocessor, the peripherals are not present internally. So we have to externally connect them if we want to use microprocessor for a particular application. But that, that is not true in case of microcontroller. The uh, peripherals are present inbuilt. Those are internally present in microcontroller. So that is why external parts in microcontroller are few. The cost of microprocessor is high. The cost of microcontroller is low. The power consumed by microprocessor is high. Again, the reason is same because microprocessors are used in intensive processing applications or devices. Similarly, the power consumed in microcontroller is low. The companies which manufacture these digital ICs are Intel, ARM, Atmel, Texas Instruments and so on. Finally, the applications of microcontroller. Microcontrollers are used in home appliances, consumer appliances such as TV, video games, TV tuners, remote controls. Then those are also used in a communication system, mobile phones, intercoms, fax machine, digital printers, medical equipment, robotics, defense system, industries. Also used in a radio and networking equipment such as modem, routers. And finally, those are also used in automobiles, wear airbags, ABS engine controls. These systems are electronically operated and controlled. So here we will we will conclude our discussion on introduction to 805 and microcontroller and the difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. In the next session, we will see the architecture of 805 and microcontroller. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you.